It's going to be great to see this vehicle in full flight um, and working with the mobile laboratories in that environment is going to be a very exciting challenge. It's going to be cold, it's going to be difficult, things will break and we'll have to fix them and that's all part of the adventure. It looks beautiful and it fits great in this exhibition area. In many ways, I don't think this needs very much introduction. I think you can see the Winston Wong bio-inspired vehicle is high technology, it's very lightweight, it's rather spectacular, and even runs on biofuel. This vehicle has been hugely intelligently designed to have a, a minimal environmental um, impact. And the sorts of technologies we'll be looking at little patches that can now be worn on the body to continuously monitor the team members respiration, heart rate, temperature, movement, mission control. This will all be satellited back to a base station. In addition we've got some fantastic environmental sensors that Robin has been pioneering within civil engineering and environmental sciences. We'll be looking at um, solar panels, we've got ground penetrating radar, We've got satellite, all this sort of beautiful, fantastic technology which makes us proud being part of Imperial College. I have to thank Andrew Reagan for actually identifying Imperial College as the international place to demonstrate its science and technology on an expedition like this. So Andrew, absolutely thank you very, very much. That's fantastic. And of course, our good friend Winston Wong. I mean, Professor Winston Wong has been a true ambassador of Imperial College from the early days when he did his PhD, his undergraduate degree. And in fact, a couple of uh, years ago, Winston was awarded one of the first Doctor of Science degrees from Imperial College by the Queen. So Winston, thank you so much for everything you're doing for Imperial. And uh, we thank you for your sponsorship of this great uh, expedition that these guys are going to take control of. Then. We are number one in science and technology, but more important than that, I think we give science and technology a sense of human touch. And we are very adventurous. I think this spirit is always in us. And that's why this uh, vehicle here. But our student, there was no institute of climate change, or there's no a uh, center of energy research in green energy. But this is the focus uh, of human endeavor. And I think Imperial College will lead this endeavor. And uh, when they do the journey in November, uh, midway at the South Pole, we all go to Antarctic and we'll meet them right there. And uh, I hope many of you can come, uh, especially, especially you, the kids and uh, Sir Richard, huh? please come, okay? We'll be there. And I think this will mark uh, to tell the people of the world the efforts we are doing at Imperial College for the good of human beings in the next generation and the generation after. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. go uh, right away across Antarctica which is a um, you know 3,600 kilometers and from, from, the, from the expedition team's point of view it's an absolute dream combination of, of Winston and his passion for um, technology and the support that's here and also the um, the excellence that that is, 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 is everywhere and obviously I'm an outsider coming in here but the excellence here was amazing so it'll enable us to capture data which we're going places that no one's ever been before so and being fortunate to have been to Antarctica, um, I think anybody who's been there doesn't need it explaining to them about why this place needs protecting. It's, it's, it's blindingly obvious, and so with the support of Professor Winston Wong and with the um, excellence and, and, and um, help from Imperial College, we're, you know we, we, we've got a dream, absolute dream ticket to achieve the very, very best. So, thank you, Professor Winston Wong. Thank you to Imperial College, and thank you, Chris. Thank you.